Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and today we have a big announcement. GIMP 3.0 RC1 is finally out. RC1 means that it is the first release candidate, it is not yet the final version. You can find it at gimp.org slash download slash devil. I will add a link for it in the description below so that you can download it and start playing with it. So now I'm launching GIMP 3.0. So here is the page that comes up when we open it. So we are now in the new GIMP interface. When we open it, there is this black box that comes along with it. We should not click on the X button, otherwise GIMP will close so we can minimize it. So as you can see, they reworked the interface, so now it looks better and cleaner. If we want to change how the tools are displayed, we go to Edit, Preferences. We go here to Interface, and then we go to Toolbox, and we uncheck Use Tool Groups. And now the tools are displayed separately as they were in the previous game versions. And if we want to make the icons bigger, we go here to Theme. We check Override Icon Sizes. And we set them to larger to make them bigger. And we click on OK. So then I will open an image. One of the biggest improvements that came along with this new game version was the development of adjustment layer. So to access them, we go here to filter, and then we select the filter that we want to apply. So I will select Gaussian blur, and I will add a bit of Gaussian blur, and then I will click on OK. And then if we want to alter it, we can go here to the FX button, go here to the small pencil, and then we can readjust the filter to decrease the amount of blur that we have applied. So this is now called non-destructive editing, which was not present in the previous game version, and then we click on OK. And if we want to remove the filter, we click on the FX button, and we go here to the small x. And also I checked, we still have the recursive transform tool in the new GIMP version. So this tool is very useful if you want to create mandalas, for instance. And also we still have the possibility to create GIF animations. So we go to Filter, Playback. So this is the tool that allows us to create GIF animations. So in my upcoming tutorials, I want to re-record some of my old game videos about mandalas and GIF animations. But of course, I will continue to cover the Affinity Suite. Alright, so that was it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until then, see you next time. Bye!